Every day, over six and a half billion people around the world go about their daily lives. People whose color, culture, occupation or lifestyle sometimes appear so very different that on the surface they may seem to have very little in common. Yet they inhabit the same planet and breathe the same air. They share a common humanity. It is this common humanity that the 2,500-year-old faith of Buddhism embraces and reveres. Every single person alive today is unique, and each person's life has limitless possibilities. Yet our world is filled with conflict and suffering. Buddhism came into being as a response to human suffering and to enable men and women to reveal their full potential. Some perceive Buddhism as a solitary, meditative religion, but the Buddhism practiced by the members of the global lay organization, SGI, Soka Gakkai International, is dynamic, yet grounded in the realities of daily life. Buddha means enlightened one, enlightened to the true nature of life. The Buddha Shakyamuni was born a prince in the subcontinent of India two and a half thousand years ago. The four universal sufferings in the shape of birth, old age, sickness and death shocked the young Shakyamuni and he set out from his palace determined to find a solution. After a long, austere search, he had the enlightened realization that our inability to grasp the true nature of life was at the root of human suffering. Through learning how to access life's unlimited potential, humanity could transcend suffering and establish a solid, indestructible happiness. Shakyamuni traveled around India for many years, sharing his enlightened wisdom. His numerous orally transmitted teachings, known as sutras, recorded after his death, spread throughout Asia, transforming the lives of millions of people. But in time, Shakyamuni's teachings became fragmented and ritualized, often losing sight of the original intention of Buddhism to alleviate suffering. In 13th century Japan, a young priest called Nichiren began to question why people suffered and why social oppression and natural disasters continued to occur in a society that upheld the Buddhist faith. He studied all the available sutras in search of the essence of Shakyamuni Buddha's teachings and found what he was looking for in the life-affirming philosophy of the Lotus Sutra. The roots submerged in the depths of a muddy pond are capable of producing the pure lotus flower. Likewise, all human beings, according to the Lotus Sutra, equally possess the pure life state of Buddhahood. A Buddha is not a transcendent being, but an ordinary person, able to challenge and overcome their own and others' suffering through manifesting wisdom, courage, compassion, and vitality. To enable all people to activate this state of Buddhahood, Nichiren established the practice of chanting the phrase Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, which he identified as being the expression of the fundamental law of life. He was adamant that chanting it would release the vast potential dormant in the heart of every single person, improving their own lives and the lives of other people. Nichiren's efforts to empower ordinary people and free them from suffering angered the feudal authorities, and he endured a lifetime of persecution. But his conviction in the Lotus Sutra and the Myoho Renge Kyo never wavered. Buddhism respects and embraces life, all life. Whatever our differences, Buddhist philosophy maintains that we are inextricably linked to one another and to the planet we all inhabit. Causing harm to other people or to the natural world that sustains life will inevitably have a negative impact upon our own lives. For 
SGI, every existence on Earth is a dignified and unique expression of life with untold possibilities. The founder and first president of this lay Buddhist organization was Tsunesaburu Makaguchi, a Japanese educator dedicated to reforming the repressive and nationalistic education system. Makaguchi advocated a more humanistic approach to learning, encouraging children to lead creative, fulfilled lives and make a positive contribution to society. In Nichiren's Buddhism, he discovered a philosophy that both reflected and revitalized his thinking. And in 1930, he founded the Soka Gakkai, the Society for the Creation of Value. When the Second World War broke out, the military authorities imposed oppressive laws upon the Japanese people. All dissent was ruthlessly suppressed. Makiguchi was imprisoned for opposing the policies of the militarist government. He died in prison in 1944. Imprisoned alongside Makiguchi was his fellow educator and closest supporter, Jose Toda. Released from prison in 1945, Toda worked tirelessly to reconstruct the Soka Gakkai organization into a broad-based, grassroots Buddhist movement that offered a message of hope and empowerment in the devastation, poverty and despair of post-war Japan. With Toda as second president, the organization rapidly expanded. He encouraged its members to take up the challenge of human revolution, a process of self-mastery whereby a positive change in the inner life of an individual is reflected in their external environment and ultimately in society itself. Todo was determined to see an end to war. In 1957, he made an impassioned appeal for the abolition of nuclear weapons, which he believed were a manifestation of the darkest aspects of the human heart. Achieving world peace became a fundamental aim of the organization. Constantly at Todo's side was a young man named Daisaku Ikeda, who wholeheartedly devoted himself to supporting the growth and development of the Soka Gakkai. In 1960, two years after Toda's death, Ikeda became its third president. This was the era of the Cold War. Global tensions were high, and the threat of nuclear devastation hung over humanity. Ikeda believed that the Lotus Sutra's message of the dignity of all life could contribute to the advancement of world peace. On the island of Guam in 1975, he helped establish a new global organization, SGI. Ikeda has also promoted dialogue between people of different countries, cultures and belief systems as a fundamental step towards building world peace. As leader of the lay Buddhist movement, he has continued to meet with leading activists and thinkers from around the world. The resulting dialogues and publications, which encompass politics, culture, philosophy and science, explore life and the universe, and seek solutions to the problems that confront our rapidly changing world. Ikeda has also founded peace research, educational, and cultural institutions with a view to promoting greater mutual understanding between nations. Since its formation, SGI has developed into an international movement with 12 million members in 190 countries and territories around the world. Each SGI organization shares the same philosophy and basic practice but has the freedom to operate independently within the customs and laws of its own country. Respecting and celebrating individual and cultural differences is the lifeblood of SGI. The core activity for SGI members around the world is the local discussion meeting. The monthly meeting provides a relaxed, 
informal space for both members and friends to share their experiences and learn more about how to apply the principles of Buddhism to their daily lives. Discussion groups are an embodiment of the commitment to respect for other people's point of view. So one does not have to act completely isolated and alone and, and uh, confused and so one can relate to other people who are, are working through their problems. One can benefit from their experience and one can contribute uh, a positive values to their experience.